Hello my fellow investors and welcome back to another video on my wife's dividend portfolio journey. Guys, I have actually a couple things here that I have added and on top of that we just finished the best month when it comes to dividends. So we're going to cover well essentially that what you know how much in dividends she got in September. And then the new company I bought for you because I bought it with a really massive yield. So that's going to be fun for her to see. So obviously because this is my wife's dividend portfolio I have with me. His wife. His wife. Yeah. <laughs> You're his wife now? <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. I love you. So a lot of stuff changed here. Well, I wouldn't say a lot of stuff, but one thing changed here in the portfolio. So I added a new company for you. The main thing that we're going to take a look at is, well, the investment income that you got for September. Okay. okay. So September is usually like the best month for dividends because most companies pay out on that month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like on the last uh, month of the quarter. Okay. But, but we could see here that on the portfolio balance that on Friday, this thing was down half of a percent, a little bit more than half of a percent, $2.59. Okay. All right. So still though, on the three month, you are up 44.15%. I don't know if we don't... Okay, yeah, we actually do have six months already. Great. Yeah. So on the six months, take a look at this. You are up 260.42%. $328. That's good. Great. So we still don't have a year to date, but you can see that on the two year, you're up $1,717. Okay? Okay. So on the one month, you're up almost seven. On the three month, you're up 44.15 and the six months, you're up 260.42. Okay. Now let's take a look at some of these positions because some of them are in the red, but some of them are also in the green. And you're also going to see the new one that I bought for you. And taking a look at the positions, we got AbbVie still being your best one. Look at that. You're up $7 on AbbVie. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. $7 on AbbVie. So, um, yeah, this one pays out a pretty good dividend and you're up on $7. Now, Here's the new one that you don't know about. So okay. I bought to the company, Southern Company. Okay. This is a utility company. Okay. Okay. It's a utility company. And the reason why I bought it is because last week or two weeks ago, the utility sector collapsed hard. Okay. Like it had a massive, massive crash. In fact, here it is. So what you're looking at right here is the utility sector and we got the one month view. So you can see that a bunch of companies have fallen, especially this one fell 21.35 the past month. Yeah. And the one that I bought for you was Southern Company. It's not as 21, but it's 6.13% uh, down in, in the past month, okay? Okay. However, I bought it for you at a much, much lower price than the $66.55. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No, I pretty much, like, you see that little curvature right there? I do. Yeah, I pretty much bought it at that bottom point. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, like, sniped it. It was awesome. So, on this company, you are up $1.89. If we take a look at this from a percentage standpoint, that's 7%. Wow. You're up on it, you're up on it 7%. Now, Chevron, you're up $1.07. Broadcom, you're up 24 cents. Apple, you're only up 5 cents. Home Depot, you're down 9 cents. And T Row Price, you're down $9.11. Uh, that's a lot. That's a, it's a, it's a decent amount. Current share oh, price. Yeah. <laughs> current share price of $100.65. I actually added something new to the spreadsheet that tells you your average share price. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a look at all of those in just one second, okay? Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, though, T Row is by far your worst one right now. It's falling that down a massive amount. But it might serve itself as a great buying opportunity. Now, the last one that we got over here, it is none other than SCHD, which is the one ETF, which you have one share of. And you can see that you're down on at $3.14. You bought it essentially at $73.46. Okay. Okay. So that's what it is. And you currently, you have a balance of $25.87. I have not bought anything yet, but I do plan to do that sometime this upcoming weeks. Okay. Okay. So with that, let's take a look at the dividends that you got for September, as you can see. It's fully blue. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And, um, well, how much do you think you actually got paid in September? Just, just um, give it a guess. $1.50. It was actually $2.63. Wow. Yeah, it's actually $2.63. So we took this money and we put it right back into the dividend portfolio. However, sweetheart, in September, $2.63. Discovery Plus, Paramount Plus is $5. Yeah. You're almost right there. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the way you got to take a look at it. Now, for October, unfortunately, you don't have anything because I don't have, I haven't bought any companies that pay out in these months. Okay. That's okay. But regardless, though, you are going to get in November, $0.85. Cents. 
cents. And because I bought Southern Company mm -hmm. before the ex-dividend date for December, you're going from 263 to 321. Wow, yeah, that's, that's good. That's a huge difference. And if we take a look at this in the next 12 months, we can see that the estimated income is $16.37 and the average is $1.36. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. And for the month of September, these are the companies that paid you. You got Chevron paying you 33 cents. You got Home Depot 36. You got Charles Schwab paying you 65 cents. You got T Row. Look at T Row, a dollar 15. That's mm -hmm. great. And lastly, Broadcom at 14 cents. So the reason why T Row is paying you this much is because you have about a little bit more than a share of it. Okay. So that's why. So uh, here are the companies that paid you two dollars and 63 cents for the month of. September. That's pretty good. Are you thinking you'll use the $25 for more T row? That's a good question. I'm not fully sure yet um, because a lot can happen. And I mean, if markets fall more, I would actually, I would rather buy more utility companies mm -hmm. because something you don't know about the utility sector, it is the most defensive sector out there because everybody needs it. Everybody uses utilities. Yeah. And it's also the only sector. Sense. It's also the only sector that is allowed to monopolize through government regulation. Mm. Yeah. So now let's jump into the spreadsheet. Okay? okay. So pretty much what we just saw over there. However, something I do want to point out is remember, we are starting to track the previous last two weeks is um, uh, dividend percentage, okay. just so that way you can see how much it has increased, right? Yeah. If you see if you see this number right here bigger than this number, that means that the share price has gone down. Okay. So for SCHD before it was 353 and now it's 372. Doesn't it just show it right here? Well, these are your capital gains and losses. Not, not necessarily. This is how much you're up or down on the company. Oh, okay. You can see that went from 353 to 372. Mm -hmm. That's a big difference. T row, look at T row, 445 up to 485, almost a 5% yield. We got Chevron going up a little bit, yeah. 363 to 368. Abvi going up a little bit as well from 389 to four. Apple going down slightly from 0.55 down to 0.54. Broadcom going from 216 to 208. So they've actually gone up, right? Their share price has mm -hmm. gone up. I mean, look at their share price though, $883. Remember your cousin? Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that works for this company. He's yeah. the one that told me that he he got shares of this company. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I see it. The low of this company, a Broadcom, mm -hmm. $180 during COVID. Could you imagine buying it back then at $180? <laughs> and selling it now. And selling it now. And, and that's actually not even the highest. It was as high as like 900 bucks. So that one went down. You got Southern Company, which we just bought. So obviously we don't know the last right. two weeks. However, I do know at what yield I bought it at. And that's what I'm gonna show you in just one second. And lastly, Home Depot went from 260 to 286. So okay. that one is going up as well. So I told you Southern Company is at 421% yield. Okay, mm -hmm. now let's take a look at this further. So we can see that this is an annual payout of $2.80, okay? okay? A payout ratio of almost 90. Usually usually utilities have a really high payout ratio. A five-year CAGR of 3.18. So within the past five years, they have increased this dividend at around 3.2%. Okay. And they've increased this for 21 consecutive years. That's good. So increased it and paid it out, okay? Ex dividend date was August 18th. Payout date was September 6th which is why you didn't get it, because I, did, I didn't buy it before the extended right. date. But they do pay their dividends quarterly, which means you're going to get it in December. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to show you uh, a little bit of what this company actually does. So here we have the company profile, okay? okay. So we got the Southern Company through its subsidiaries engages in generation, transmissions, distribution of electricity. It operates through three segments, gas distribution operations, gas pipeline investments, and gas marketing services. The company also develops, constructs, acquires, owns, and manages power generation assets, including renewable energy projects, and sells electricity in the wholesale market. And distributes, now pay attention to what I'm gonna say, and distributes the natural gas in Illinois, Georgia, Virginia, and uh-huh uh-huh tennessee so what's interesting about this one is obviously like you know about the whole thing that i would like to live in tennessee right so if that ever comes to pass and this company pays us let's just say that our electricity costs are like 150 dollars mm -hmm. uh, per month if this company pays us 150 dollars per month they're paying their own <laughs> they're paying their own bill which is hilarious yes. so 
I do love this company a lot, and the fact that they provide it for Tennessee is something I like even more. So, yeah. Now, obviously, 4.21% yield is very, very good. However, I actually bought yours at the very, very bottom end when it was crashing. And basically, what I'm about to show you now is called the yield on cost. What yield did you get when you actually bought it? Okay. Okay? So, based off of math, you can see that I bought this thing for you at 4.5% yield. Okay. That's massive. Okay, imagine your bank account, mm -hmm. your savings account, making you a 4.5% interest. Okay. That's insane, mm -hmm. right? So this company, I bought it for you at a 4.5% yield, which is generating you 30 cents in quarterly dividends and an annual dividends of a hundred of a dollar and 22 cents. Okay. So that's really, really good. And I don't know, I'm half tempted to keep buying it. Anything like 4% is just insane. So above 4%, I'm tempted to keep buying it. However, it's if I buy it now, it'll keep going down. Like your yield on cost will go down because I'm mm -hmm. buying it much lower. But it's still a very, very good yield. 4.21 is insane. Right. So that's the company I bought for you. I think I sniped it pretty well. Mm -hmm. I think like the lowest, lowest point was 4.55 yield so i bought a 4.5 so that's really really good so yeah now with this this does increase your overall annual dividends as you just saw when it comes to the investment income which is now 16 dollars and 37 cents right and of course that this is on path to your goals of having you know your dividends pay for streaming services as well as the child that you sponsor okay right. so last time remember why i said slow and steady right mm -hmm. well think of it like this paramount plus is five dollars per month right right great what did we just say the charles schwab right in september he's got two dollars and 63 cents right and in december you're going to get 321 right so if you think about it it's almost there it's almost there for one for uh, a quarter of the year yeah. That's really good. It is. That's a really, really good thing. So obviously you don't have to use it for this, but it's a good stepping point as to like, okay, this is how much you have to go. Right. All right. So that pretty much does it for everything that has happened in your portfolio for the past two weeks. And you still have $25 in there. So I'm planning on using that. We'll see what happens. Uh, if I see SO fall down more, I'm probably going to buy more SO. Okay. So. Sounds good. Yeah. That pretty much does it for this video, everybody. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help here with the algorithm on YouTube as well as Rumble. And again, guys, this is her portfolio. And we're just trying to make it so that she can make a little bit extra income, especially if you decide to stop working, right? Right. So thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.